The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. 547 picture of the daytime and it looks like a clear sky out there in Max Meadows, but you see on the left hand and the right hand side of the picture a little bit of a rainbow there. Thanks to Jessica for today's picture of the day. Let's get you out the door. No rainbows out there this morning. Temperatures at about 29 at 5 o'clock in the Roanoke Valley. Same at about 7 o'clock. We're looking at 9 o'clock temperatures in the low to mid 30s. So very cold start to the day, but as you head into the afternoon, all of a sudden it becomes tolerable. High temperatures across the board about 54 to 58, no matter which of our five zones you live in. All right, let's head toward tomorrow, though, and you notice this evening got some showers building toward Tennessee and Kentucky. Those will gradually shift from west to east. We'll stop the tape at about 7 o'clock. Any threat for wintry weather is going to be way to our north. We're just gonna, not going to be cold enough for that. But heading through midday, you'll see a few showers. Our cold front moves toward the east, and then we're left with a clearing sky heading through the rest of the day Tuesday. You would think that we would turn colder, but that's actually not going to be the case. The wind starts coming in out of the west and southwest so by tomorrow afternoon highs about 57 to 59 look at wednesday high temperatures in the low to mid 60s will be dry by then but a storm system is going to feed off of that warmth and produce some severe weather in parts of louisiana arkansas east texas and mississippi wednesday that same storm system is eventually going to move in our direction producing some rain on thursday maybe even some thunderstorms by the afternoon after that however we will turn a little colder a little windy at times on the back side of the storm any kind of snow is going to be once again in the mountains of west virginia that is looking toward friday Friday. So for the New River Valley up until then, unseasonably mild, especially Wednesday and Thursday. You're looking at high temperatures by then in the upper 50s and lower 60s. Now on the back side of that storm, like we were showing you, temperatures will be in the 40s, which is a little more par for the course for this time of year. Heading towards Sunday, we'll keep track of another storm system near the coast. The question is how much cold air do we really have to play with? At the moment, it looks like rain or a rain snow mix, but that's still six days away, so we'll keep you posted on that. In the meantime, two to three storm systems to keep track of throughout the week. Sunshine starting the Roanoke Valley today. Clouds by the afternoon highs in the 50s, upper 50s to near 60 tomorrow afternoon and then in the 60s, about 15 to 20 degrees above average for this time of the season. That'll be Wednesday and Thursday for you. Some showers and maybe some thunderstorms by Thursday. Friday's dry, just windy with a high of 54, 52 Saturday in the 40s Sunday. Again, keeping track of another storm system that'll be riding the coast. We'll see just how much cold air we have to play with by that time around.